uh, with the fourth lecture of uh, this chapter deep water we come to know about the first drowning of douglas what happened with him how he felt thereafter i flailed at the surface of the water swallowed and choked when he went to the bottom of the pool he tried to come out by applying all his force he came out means he came on the surface i flailed flailed is uncontrolled movement he when he came on the surface he made certain uncontrolled movements हाथ पैर ऐसे ही चलना जिसमें आपको लग ही नहीं रहा कि कहीं पर भी कंट्रोल है किसी चीज़ को ग्रिप कर सकते हैं या कुछ और स्वेलोड एंड चॉक्ड ही स्वेलोड वाटर एंड फेल्ट चॉक्ड आई ट्राई टू ब्रिंग माई लेग्स अप बट दे हंग एज डेड वेट्स पेरालाइज एंड रेजिड ही ट्राई टू ब्रिंग हिज लेग्स अप बट हिज लेग्स hung like dead weights it means it he did not feel any life in his legs he felt paralyzed and rigid obviously in water we our force is lesser than water means uh, jab hum pani mein hote to hame hum, hamari jo actual energy hoti hai wo uh, feel nahi hoti to wo water mein tha to uske movements अनकंट्रोल्ड थे अ ग्रेट फोर्स वॉज पुलिंग मी अंडर आई स्क्रीम्ड बट ओनली द वॉटर हर्ड मी आई हैड स्टार्टेड ऑन द लॉन्ग जर्नी बैक टू द बॉटम ऑफ द पूल ऑब्वियसली एज ही डिड नॉट नो हाउ टू स्विम सो अ ग्रेट फोर्स वॉज पुलिंग हिम अंडर ही स्टार्टेड स्क्रीमिंग ही स्टार्टेड शाउटिंग it has already been uh, described he wanted to yell pani mein awaaz nahi aati hai jab aap chillate ho he screamed but only water could hear him i had started on the long journey to the bottom of the pool this was the second journey of douglas to the bottom of the pool Uh, description of uh, second journey to the bottom of the pool is given in this particular para i sucked at the water as i went down expending my strength as one in a nightmare fights an irresistible force i struck at the water as i went down he tried to strike the water expending his strength he tried to expend his strength as one in a nightmare fights an irresistible force Ir- irresistible means unavoidable force he tried to fight as he or one used to do in nightmare fights i had lost all my breath he lost all his breath his lungs ached ached his pain and my head throbbed i was getting dizzy um throbbing is a uh, matlab uh, hammer like um, uh, feeling jaise ki dham 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 kai bar hame headache hota hai bahut zyada painful feeling hoti hai that is uh, what is described here my head throbbed and i was getting dizzy dizzy means giddy chakkar aana but i remembered the strategy strategy means plan and we all know which plan uh, came to his mind he remembered the strategy uh, the plan has been described here once again i would i would spring from the bottom of the pool and come like a cock to the surface i would lie flat on the water strike out with my arms and thrash with my legs then i would get to the edge of the pool what was his plan his plan was that when his legs would touch the bottom he would take a big jump come to the surface lie flat on it and pedal to the edge of the pool i went down down endlessly i opened my eyes nothing but water with a yellow glow dark water that not that one could not see through but he although he tried to come out of water he kept going down and down endlessly 
his journey to the bottom of the pool he has made the use of the word endless i open my eyes nothing but water with a yellow glow dark water that one could not see through and then sheer stark terror seized me seized me matlab blocked him sheer means complete stark depressing terror blocked him means he felt complete fear terror that knows no understanding terror that knows no control terror that no one can understand who has not experienced it i was shrieking shrieking when shouting under water i was paralyzed under water stiff rigid with fear even the screams in my throat were frozen only my heart and the pounding in my head said that i was still alive this particular para describes how helpless how uh, energyless dogless felt when he was under water the second time when he went under water he had complete stark terror that terror knew no understanding means uh, it was impossible to make uh, the terror control it was impossible to make the terror uh, uh, understand something he was shrieking under water he was he felt paralyzed rigid fearful stiff he t- tried to yell but no sound came his throat was were frozen his matlab the screams in his throat were frozen only his heart and the pounding in his head uh, all of us know his head was throbbing so in only the beating of his heart and the pounding the throbbing in his head said he was still allowed alive means he felt that he was alive uh, only by the heartbeat and the pounding in his head why because he couldn't control he couldn't do anything as he wanted to do okay and then in the midst of the terror came a touch of reason here touch of reason once again means remembering the plan and plan is clear to all of you i must remember to jump when i hit the bottom at last i felt the tiles under my under me my toes reached out as if to grab them i jumped with everything i had he remembered the strategy the plan according to his plan when his legs ju- uh, touched the bottom he collected his strength and took a jump upward but once again the jump made no difference the water was still around him i looked for lo- ropes ladders water wings nothing but water once again he felt helpless in uh, under water a mass of yellow water held me stark terror took an even deeper hold on me like a great charge of electricity i shook and trembled with fright my arms wouldn't move my legs wouldn't move i tried to call for help to call for mother nothing happened it has been described in this particular para that when he was uh, when he took a big jump according to him but this jump made no difference he felt helpless although he tried to hold some rope take some ladder water wing but nothing was there except water around him once again that terror stark terror was like a great charge of electricity for him jaise shock laga ho i shook and trembled with fright ab wo he felt very fearful at that moment my arms wouldn't move he couldn't move even his arms his legs he tried to shout but no sound came uh i suppose everything is clear and then and then strangely 
there was light i was coming out of the uh, awful yellow water at least my eyes were my nose was almost out too once again the second time when douglas tried to come out of water only his eyes and nose came out now this is uh, quite uh, important the third a journey of douglas to the bottom of the pool then i started down a third time i sucked for air and then and got water the yellowish light was going out then i started down a third time this was the third journey of douglas to the bottom of the pool he sucked for air but got only water the yellowish light was going out yes beta um we know in the beginning when he entered into the pool it was stated that the bo- tiled bottom was quite clean means even mm, it was as clean as a bathtub but now it has been described that uh, there was yellow water yellowish light yellow water was there tinge of yellowness it may be to describe the uh, danger it may be to describe that when douglas entered into the pool the pool water became dirty that's it then i started uh, thereafter now when he started his journey to the bottom of the pool the third time yellowish light was going out all his efforts ceased i relaxed even my legs felt limp and a blackness swept over my brain it wiped out fear it wiped wiped out terror there was no more panic it was quiet and peaceful nothing to be afraid of this is nice to be drowsy to go to sleep no need to jump too tired to jump it's nice to be carried gently to float along in space tender arms around me tender arms like mothers now i must go to sleep i crossed to oblivion and the curtain of life fell this is the third drowning uh, he felt effortless although he tried his best but now he felt it was of no use although he tried to move his legs to move his arms but it was of no use so his all his efforts ceased blocked his body felt relaxed his uh, legs felt limp l i m b means hands and legs and l i m p means weak and this is the word we read in 11th class in the chapter birth the child was born limp limp means dead ठीक है um even my legs felt lifeless and a blackness swept over my brain he felt lifeless and a blackness swept over his brain means he felt drowsy sleepy thoda sa uh, aankhe band hone lagi drowsy feel hone laga relax hone lagi uski body nothing to be afraid of now all the panic went away he felt peaceful there was no afraid uh, nothing to be afraid of he felt drowsy he felt relaxed his body felt relaxed then he felt gentle arms around him obviously whenever we are in trouble we remember our mother and saving hands are described as mother's hand he felt at the time in the uh, in the middle of all these when he felt drowsy he felt tender arms were there to save him tender arms like mothers now i must go to sleep sleep according to him is mm, death i cross to oblivion oblivion means two faction means um coma long sleep jo kehte hain and the curtain of life fell according to him in the third journey to the bottom of 
द पूल ही थॉट दैट ही क्रॉस टू ओब्लीवियन मीन्स ही डाइड ही थॉट दैट वॉज द एंड ऑफ हिज लाइफ ही थॉट दैट वॉज द एंड ऑफ एवरी एफर्ट दैट वॉज द एंड ऑफ एवरी थिंग दैट्स ऑल फॉर टू